What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel today. This is the Elden Ring finale. I beat the game about a week ago. I just never uploaded the video because my audio was damaged. So we're doing a voiceover. I'm basically just gonna react to the fight and give you my commentary on what went down during this fight. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe for more content, more Elden Ring content. We will be playing the DLC, Shadow of the Erd Tree, that will be coming out soon. And the next game we'll be playing is Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero. I already have a few videos out on the channel, just playing some online matches. And I will be doing the entire story mode on the channel as well. So, without further ado, let's get straight into this reaction. This is Radagon of the Golden Order and the Elden Beast. Basically what I was thinking during this fight, I tried to fight them the way I fought a lot of the other enemies. This whole playthrough was a dex build. I had 45 dexterity, I had 45 arcane, my strength was about 30, and my endurance was about 30, no, it was about 25, and vigor was about 30. Unfortunately, it did not work out the way I thought it would work. I tried using the Rivers of Blood Katana, plus 10 failed tried using the moon veil katana plus 10 failed and of course i tried using eleanor eleanor's pole blade plus 10 all three of them failed is i wasn't beating them the way i beat melania i wasn't being the way i beat godfrey it wasn't being the way i beat uh mick of the wolf lion whatever the hell his name is it just wasn't gonna work out so came up with a new strategy i reallocated my stats Put a lot of stats into my faith and into my strength. Took off my arcane. And now, with my new setup, I have 40 vigor, 20 mind, 30 endurance, 45 strength, 30 dexterity, 16 intelligence, 45 faith, and 12 arcane. That is the build that I went into the fight with. I was using Blades Armor, the nice little wolf set. Looks cool. I just like it for the style and it has good stats. Talismans, I use the Erd Tree's Favor plus two, Shard of Alexander, Rotten Winged Sword Insignia, and Godfrey's Icon. For the weapon, I use the Blasphemous Blade plus nine. I would have got it to plus 10, but I just didn't have it. And I use the Claw Mark Seal. Radigan was pretty simple. I just spammed the R2 attack and dodged all of his attacks. Made sure I kept my health up and my FP up, and I was good. The main issue with this fight was just timing. I had to roll out the way and time everything, but I got pretty good at rolling, so with the added health boost that I was getting from the sword, as well as the extra health that I gained from reallocating my stats, I was good. Endurance and health wise, I had nothing to worry about. So I took him out, it was over. Now for the Elden Beast, this is when I got serious. For the Wondrous Physics Mix, I used the Flame Shrouding Cracked Tier to boost fire attacks and I used the green spill crystal tier to boost my max stamina. Together, I was doing pretty good. I was doing pretty good. I summoned the mimic tier for the Elden Beast because I needed some distractions from his little golden attacks so it wouldn't all hit me. So my mimic came in with the same stats and build that I had, but he was really just there to serve as my distraction. And for spells, I also decided to use the Golden Vow to increase attack and defense for self and allies. I used the Blessing of the Erd Tree to grant greater blessing of self and nearby allies. And I used the Erd Tree Heal if I needed to, to vastly heal my HP and nearby allies. That was the plan. And then I just continued to spam the L2 attack, same way I did with Radigan. And just enjoy the fight, man. Enjoy the fight. This area looks beautiful. He did catch me lacking right there. He killed my horse. He killed my horse immediately. So I had to use a crystal, a crimson tear class to revive my torrent horse. I was a little worried about 
my FP flask because I didn't know if I was going to have enough to continue this fight. But it worked out pretty good. I was, you know, dodging and weaving, getting smacked around. Okay. It's not looking good for me right here, but, you know. I just had to dodge, get good real quick. My mimic, if I summoned him during Radagon, he would not have survived for the Elden Beast. So I knew I had to be Radagon by myself. Because I really, really wanted him for the Elden Beast. I didn't really care. Like, Radigan wasn't that bad. I needed him for the Elden Beast. But Radigan, it just wasn't that much of an issue. So, did that. Ran out of my flask. All my last bit of FP. It's getting serious. It's getting critical. The Elden Beast got staggered. Knocked him over. Started blinking. I didn't know if he fell. I thought he fell over, but I wasn't sure if he fell over. So I was being cautious. Then I ran up to him. Put my sword in his chest. Cooked him. Over. Done. I am the Elden Lord. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share the videos all around. And Shadow the Erd Tree DLC is coming very, very soon. Now, right here, I actually forgot that I wanted to stay and do some stuff in New Game Plus. I mean, in the new in this version of the game. So I almost went to New Game Plus. So I had to exit out of the game real quick before I got sent over to New Game Plus. So did that, and we're back. Subscribe.